Hi, and welcome back to your second sensory kit video. I'm Danny, and this is Lily, and today we're going to be making shaving cream prints and collages. Let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to need is some shaving cream, food dye, and some paper, a ruler, and some, a fork, knife, and spoon, along with beads and other materials. You're also going to want to use a baking tray or a plastic tablecloth to do your craft on. And for the collage, which is optional, you will need tissue paper, glue, and some scissors. Or you can just tear with your hands. Before you start, you should take note that this is a very messy project and you should probably, should be probably done outside. You may also want to wear dark black or older clothes to avoid food coloring stains. Which we're not. And try not to step in the food coloring because it will turn your feet whatever color you step in. So first you're going to spray about 8 by 10. Whatever the size of your paper is. Yeah. And then you're going to want to smooth it out with a ruler. And it doesn't need to be a ruler. It can be any straight edge, such as a credit card or a straight piece of cardboard. But a ruler is definitely the easiest option. Yeah. And whenever you use the ruler, right when you're done, you want to get a towel or a paper towel and get the shaving cream off of the ruler. Okay, so now we flattened it out and it looks like this. And so now the next step is to put some food dye on. Um, so I'm gonna choose pink and blue and I'm just going to unscrew the top and put a few drops of each on my shaving cream. You can do it wherever, this thought didn't really matter. The more drops, the more colorful it will be. So I'm doing three of each. So now I've got my drops on my um, shaving cream. And then we're going to use, so you have a spoon, a knife, and a fork. And you can just make whatever pattern you want. So you can swirl it around mix the colors together a little bit. And the pink and blue might make some purple too. Yeah. This would be fun. Okay, so I'm again want, well, going to want to wipe my knife off once I'm done. And so mine looks like this. And so if you decide maybe I want another color, you can add more drops and do more swirls. But I think I like mine like this. Okay. So now that you've got your swirls on your sheet, on your baking sheet, you're going to take your paper and put it on top. Then you're just going to gently press it down. Don't press too hard or that won't, or it won't work. Then just slowly peel it up and you've got a cool print. Sometimes it will have a lot of shaving cream, especially if you press it really hard. And with that extra shaving cream, you can just go ahead and wipe it off with your um, ruler. You can just slide your ruler right over top of it and it takes all the extra shaving cream off. So this is what our finished print looks like. You can do as many of these as you want and you can choose different colors. So now let's show, now we're going to show you what to do once you finish your first print. Now we're going to show you how you can use a stencil with it. If you don't have stencils at home, that's okay because this is optional and you don't have to do it. But I just find it to be kind of fun. I'm going to add some more color to here. I'm going to smooth it out. And this time, instead of swirling it, I'm going to smooth it so it makes this straight line pattern. Wipe off my ruler. Then I'm going to put this stencil on here. And just like last time, you're just going to put your paper over top and swoosh it down like that. 
and then you should have a pretty print like that and if you have any excess you can just scrape it off you can also use these beads too if you want to make different textures like you can just pop them in and out we're not going to do one with the beads but it will end up looking something like that so yeah you can get creative with what textures you want and how you want it to look so now you've finished one two three four five six of them and now it's time that we can make a collage if you just want to keep your print separate that's fine or you can create a collage with them also so to create your collage you're going to need scissors paper and a glue stick. Okay, now we're ready to make our um, collages. And what we're going to do is we've got some tissue paper and we're going to cut out the shapes that we want and put the tissue paper on it. The tissue paper on it. shows up on both sides so it doesn't matter what side you use. So now we've drawn on our things and cut them out. So now we're ready to glue them on. So you can take your glue stick and I'm going to glue mine on and Lily's going to draw on hers. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around the edge and stick it on mine tissue paper. Or you can put tissue paper on top of it too. Or you can you put tissue paper on top of it too if you want that. And I'm going to outline mine using this pen or marker. And I'm just going to outline it. And I think that's all I'm going to do for this one. Okay, so I finished my collage. Um, so there's a lot of different things that you can do with this kind of stuff. You can make it into a card. Um, this card says miss you if you send it to a family member or a friend. You can make it into a sticker if there's one that you really like. Um, you can glue a magnet to the back and you can make it a magnet and put it on your fridge. There's a ton of different stuff that you can do. Just be creative. Thanks for watching our second sensory kit video and we hope you enjoyed this week's craft. Bye for now. Bye.